Hi everyone. Um, see again. Eh? Now we go to the last topic, chapter two. Okay, this one, chapter two. Uh, I already upload the notes. Have you print out? So print out. Make sure you refer the notes. Okay, they're just a one short topics. Uh, the topic name is uh weight. Okay, so now we go through uh what means of the weight. Okay, now you can see the first one. First time they introduce about the weight, the symbol for the weight we using W. Okay, follow the weight W. Okay, now we go and see the ball. Okay, example one of the ball is free fall. Okay, remember what means of the free fall? Free fall means uh we don't have using any force, any anything, any initial velocity, we pull the object go down. No, we just release. Okay, when the object just release, we call it as a free fall. Release means the initial velocity will become the zero. Okay, and also one more thing, you assume the fall, the acceleration is how many? Every time we take, there's a 10, is it? 10 because there's a gravity of the earth. So today, we need to learn about this one. Okay, now we're going to see the object. Okay, the fall. Okay, fall because of the pulling by the gravitational force from the earth. Okay, the object will go downwards. Why they never go upwards? Because they got one of the force to pull the object go downwards. After they go to the earth. Okay, this one when they come down, the acceleration we take it as a 10, is it? See, so from here, this one we call it acceleration due to gravity. So we take it as a 10. So from here, we need to know why the answer should be 10. Okay, then we continue by this one. Okay, Newton for the second law. Remember the Newton for second law? We got three Newton. Okay, first one is the inertia. The second, second one is the F equal to MA. Third one is the explosion. So now we take a, about the second law. So let's see the Newton for the second law of motion. F equal MA. So from here, we take it a become the G. This one where we just apply when the object is free fall. Okay, we can convert the A become the G. Okay, so now G. G got the name when the object free fall, we call it gravitational acceleration. Okay, gravitational acceleration. When the object free fall, we take the A become 10. That one actually is a gravitational acceleration. Okay, so that means we can say about F equal to the mg. Okay, understand that F equal to mg. F stands for the force. Okay, then we continue with the lesson here. See what they explain. Okay, first one they say, a gravitational pull acting on the barbell. Okay, you can see the diagram, the barbell. Okay, contribute the weight of the barbell. When you pull up, so you find it the barbell, they got weight. Okay, the weight of the barbell that makes it difficult for the man to be lift up. Uh, this one not man. This one is a woman. Woman. Okay, for the woman to be lift it up. Okay, now the barbell that will drop onto the ground. When I just release, the barbell will drop on the ground. When they drop on the ground, because pulled by the gravitational force. Okay, now they will fall down with acceleration. Is it? They got some speed to come down. So they want to fall by the acceleration. What acceleration? Gravitational acceleration. Okay, so from here, they need to introduce about the Newton of second law. F equal to ma. Okay, after that, W. Okay, from here, F is a force. W also is a force. Weight also one type of the force. So from here, we need to convert F and W for this topic. Okay, now you can see the new one. W equal mg. So that means we're never using the force, F, we're never using the A. We straightforward convert, F become W, and the A become the G. So from here, we can introduce the first formula for the weight, W equal mg. Okay, W equal mg. Okay, now we need to introduce W equal mg. W stand for what? The W is stand for the weight. Okay, so from here they got explanation. Okay, the explanation is gravitational force acting on the barbell. Actually, we call it as a weight. Okay, the force acting to the barbell, acting for the object to come down. That one, the force, we call it as a weight. Okay, another one, they say acceleration of the barbell is gravitational acceleration. What's a G? G is a gravitational acceleration. Means the acceleration 
make the object to come down. We call it there's a gravitational acceleration. Okay, so from here, weight. What's the unit for the weight? The same like the force. So the unit must be Newton. That's the end. Okay, weight is a vector quantities. Remember vector quantities? Vector quantity means the object got magnitude and also direction. So where's the direction of the weight? Downwards. Every time acting downwards, that one is a weight. Okay, then you see here the direction towards the earth. Downwards actually go where? Actually go to the center of the earth. So we call it as a downwards. Everything just come down, just fall down, then we pull. To the center of the earth so that one we call it direction so that's why the weight is a vector quantities okay so from here we need to introduce the unit and also the the formula for the acceleration of the gravity this one as gravitational acceleration okay g i take out the g so you find it w over m so weight over the mass so from here what is a unit for g Newton per kilogram. Okay, we just convert force over kg. So Newton per kilogram. So from here, another name for the G, we call it gravitational field strength. Okay, why the G got two names? Okay, this one is called gravitational acceleration. This one we call gravita uh, gravitational field strength. Actually, it's the same meaning. This one we call it gravitational acceleration because we say the object is free fall. Free form means got acceleration. So we convert the name become gravitational acceleration. This one, why they never take about acceleration? Because now we want to measure is what? It's the gravity. Gravity to pull your weight. Okay, gravity to pull your weight. So we no need to measure about acceleration. We, con we convert the acceleration become the name gravitational field strength. Okay, got one of the strength, the force to pull the object to come down. So that one we call gravitational field strength. You also can say there is a gravity. So it's the same thing, still the G. Okay, so from here, gravity of the Earth. There's a how many? Exactly 9.81. Normally we take 10. Why? Because we do one got decimal point. Actually got, they got decimal point. So from here, there's a 9.81 Newton per kilogram. That one is gravitational field strength when we're using to measure the weight of the object. Okay, so from here, actually, what's the meaning for Newton per kilogram? Okay, Newton per kilogram, the meaning is 1 kg mass. The object with 1 kg mass, they experience how many force? 9.81 Newton force. So that one, we call it, there's a gravitational field strength. That means you got how many mass? Example, your mass is 50 kilograms. Okay, 50 kilograms will exert, exert how many forces to your body. So from here, 50 kilogram mass, experience the force, 9.81. So what you need to do, you need to take your 50, multiply with 9.81. So that one is your weight. Okay, so this one, mass and the weight is a different. Okay, one more thing. Every time the student, student will make the confused. Okay, what they confuse? They confuse with the 9.81 is a gravitational field strength, is it? They confuse this one is a force. That's not a force. This one is a gravity. You see the unit, Newton per kilogram. Okay, force is what? Force is a weight. Different thing, eh? Force is mg. G is what? G is W over m. Different thing. So one is a gravity. Gravity related with the mass related with the mass okay how about the force force no force we just say about the force pull you to go down okay pull you to go down if the question asks what is the gravitational force of your body okay we do know gravitational force of your body okay you need to take your mass multiply with the gravity that one is your gravitational force but if the question say what is the gravitational field strength your answer is 9.81 okay that one is a fixed number for the earth okay i say earth lah. the other planet is a different okay if you say force gravitational force gravitational force is different for everywhere depend for your mass that one we call gravitational force 
So from here you see this one is a weight, gravitational force, mg. So g is a fix, the problem is a m. Okay, the m will changes. Okay, g, g is a newton per kilogram. This one for the earth is 9.81. So depend for the situation. If the situation for other planet, the g should be different. For example, for the moon. Moon is how many? Moon is 1 over 6. Smaller than the 9.81. Means the moon is 6 times smaller than uh, earth. So if you go to moon, you find it, your weight, you become less. Less how, less how many times? 6. Okay? Example, you are 500 Newton. 500 Newton, you need to divide by 6. Uh, that one is your weight. Okay? So this one is what I introduced for the weight. Okay, so from here, they got explanation about the gravitational field strength. Okay, let's see what is the definition. Okay, the question normally we ask definition. Okay, physical quantities, there's a G. It's a gravitational field strength. Okay, number two, gravitational field strength is a force. Okay, acting per unit mass. Can you see? Force per unit mass. So that means they got related with the mass. Caused by what? Caused by the gravitational pull. Okay? Caused by the gravitational pull you to come down. Okay, number three. The earth, gravitational field strength is how many? 9.81 Newton per kilogram. So means 1 kg of the mass that experiences a force gravity is 9.81 Newton. Okay, 1 kg, you need use how many force to put in? 9.81 Newton. Okay, if your mass is 50 kg, so you how many force to pull you? So you need to use it, 50 multiplied 9.81. So that one is a gravitational field strength to pull you to come down. Okay, then we go and see the differences. What is the differences between the mass and also the weight? Okay, this one is a one of the questions they will ask you for three marks or four marks. They ask you four differences. Okay, let's see the first one. Okay, for comparison question, example like this, mass and also the weight, we can write the answer in table form. Okay, let's see here the first one, they will write the mass. Okay, the mass is a quantity of the matter. That one is a definition for the mass, quantity of matter. How about the weight? Weight is a gravitational force. Okay, definition for the weight. Okay, number two, what is the unit for the mass? Unit for the mass is a kilograms. What's the unit for the weight? Newton. Okay, this one is a different. Okay, number three, base quantity. Remember the base quantity for the mass. Okay, we got five. Mass is either one of the base quantity. Weight, not a base quantity. Weight is a derived quantity. It's because they got formula, need to calculate. Okay, then the next one is a scalar quantity. Mass is a scalar. Mass don't have any direction, but the weight got direction. So there's a vector quantities. And next one, measure. One, what is the instrument we using to measure the mass? So from here, they say inertia balance. We can use inertia balance. We can use chemical balance. Okay, I show you what is the inertia balance and also chemical balance. So that one is a uh, uh, initial and also chemical balance. So the next one is a spring balance they're using to measure the weight. Okay, spring balance, I think before that we learned already what's a spring balance. I show you again what is a spring balance. You can see it. So we got two of the instruments that's a different. One to measure what is the mass, another one measure what is the Newton, what's the weight. So that means every time the, you go to the market, you want to buy something, and they go to measure uh, how many kg are uh, that one we call a uh, normal balance. That one we call initial balance, or you say that one is just a normal balance to measure how many kilograms only. Okay, so from here, now we go to the last one. Uh, for the mass, they say they fix to all place. 
So your mask can change or not? Actually, your mask cannot change. You don't tell me today your mask 50 kilograms. Then tomorrow you go to the KL, they become 60 already. No more. The mask is totally cannot change. They will fix for everywhere. So, but the weight can be changed. Why the weight can be changed? The mass cannot change. Let's see the formula. Okay, weight is equal to mg. Mass cannot change. What changes? G changes. So that means if you go other planet, okay, if you go other planet, you find it, your weight can be changes. Okay, I didn't say for uh, from blacker, then you go to KL, your weight changes. No. I just say when you go to other planet. So from here they say uh, various from one place to another place. The plane means you go to other planet when the gravity is different. So your weight can be changes. Okay, so this one is the differences between the weight and also the mass. Okay, now we're going to see the diagram here. They introduce uh, how to measure the weight. Okay, example. Okay, the astronaut they're wearing the full of the space suit. Okay, on the moon, on the moon. When they're on the moon, the gravity different already. Okay, let's see here. The mass of the astronaut suit on the Earth is eighty one point six five kilogram. Okay, eighty one point six five kilogram. That's a mass. Okay, weight of the Earth. When at the Earth, we need to calculate what is the weight of the astronaut suit. We take 81.65, multiply with 9.81. Remember, using this formula. You want to calculate the weight, you take the mass, multiply the gravitational field strength. So for the Earth, G is how many? 9.81. So we straightforward take 81.65, multiply 9.81. So we get the answer. That one is normal weight. Okay, now, the following. They say they need to count what is the weight of the astronaut suit when they bring to the moon uh, so this one is a uh, one of the questions that we ask when you go the other planet what is the weight now okay so now we're going to see how to do the calculation okay now we're going to see gravitational field strength for the earth is 9.81 okay we write down all the info first so the mass Okay, the mass of the astronaut should, should be constant. Okay, the mass should be the fixed. Okay, now they ask weight. When we measure the weight of this one suit at the Earth. Okay, so this one is a normal formula. So we count it, there should be 800.99 Newton. So this one, you get your answer in weight, so the answer should be Newton. Okay, the second one. Gravitational field strength of the moon is 1 over 6 of the gravitational field strength. So that means we need to count first. Actually, what is the G for the moon? How many? 1 over 6 from our from our earth. So there's a 1 over 6. Now I need to measure what is the weight of the astronaut shoot when I bring to the moon. So your calculation is okay, this one we know already. This one is on the earth. Now I want to know at the moon. So suppose we take this one answer divide by 6 because there's a 6 smaller than our earth. So we straightforward take 800.99 divide by 6. So I get the weight of the suit at the moon. So the answer should be 1.33, 133, 133.5. So you see there's a big difference. Okay, one is 800, one is 133. So that means the moon gravity is smaller that will affect the weight of the object. Okay, which one constant? The mass is always constant.
So this one is what we need to know for this topic. Okay, let's try the two example question here. Okay, for this one topic, calculate about the weight, we normally never using 10 already. Okay, 10 we just apply for the chapter uh, 2.2. They're called equation, is it? Four equation, is it? We're using that as a 10. Okay, but for this one, normally we're using the exactly as a 9.81. Okay, let's see the example one. The gravitational field strength, that means G, eh, of the Earth is 9.8. The question already mentioned 9.8. If they mention 9.81, then you're using 9.81. If they're using 9.8, then using 9.8. The gravitational field strength of the moon, 1.6. Okay, if the moon, the weight is a 120 newton on the moon, what is the weight on the Earth? So, they ask the same thing. Okay, we try to write the info. Okay, 9.8, first one. The second one. For the moon. Okay, for the moon. Okay, then they say the man weight. Okay, when the weight at the moon equal to the 120 newton okay so now the question what they want the weight at the earth is how many okay so is the only you can using the formula or you straightforward i go to multiply two la. okay so from here we uh, multiply six not two so now we need to do the calculation Okay, for the question, you straight write the answer. There's a no marks one. So better we show the calculation. Okay, let's see the first one. We show the calculation. Eh? Okay, mg, w equal to mg. Okay, so this is a 1, 2, 0. The mass, we don't know. Then we know at the moon is 1.6. Okay, this one, we need to find the mass. Because the mass is always constant. We find the mass first. So you take 120 divided by 1.6. We get it. The answer is 75 kilograms. So that one is fixed one. So this one I bring to the earth. I bring it to the earth. So now I need to do the calculation. WE weight. When you bring to the earth, that's a mg. So now the m is 75. Okay, now we take the g is a earth g, earth gravity 9.8. So the answer should become 735.75 Newton. So this one should be the answer. When we want to measure the weight the object bring to the earth, they become 735, 735.75 uh, newton. So this one is the answer for example one. Now we're going to see example two. We see what's the info. An astronaut weighed some of the rock from the planet X with the spring balance, and the spring balance reading is recorded as 80 newton. Okay, planet X. We do know what planet. Just X only. The weight become 80 newton. Upon returning to the Earth, he consider same rock, okay, specimen by using the same spring balance also same. He found that the reading become 400 newton already. So if the force of acting for the Earth is 10, okay, now the question they take 10. Okay, you follow the question. So determine the gravity pull force of the planet. Now they ask about the gravity. Uh, gravity pull force means what? Gravity, gravitational field strength. They want to find g. Okay, we write in four first. Okay, this one is an information. When the object measure at the planet for 800 newton. Okay, oh, sorry, it's an 8 new 80 newton. So then after that, when I bring back to the earth, I measure again, use the uh, same spring balance. I find it become 4 100 newton okay then the question told you the gravitational field strength for the earth is 10 
okay then they what they want they want to know gravitational planet is how many okay we're still using the same formula to solve it okay let's see we how to solve it we write the formula Okay, so this one is a formula. Wp equal to mg. This one means planet. Planet weight. Okay, now we do know the g. Okay, we also do know the m. So we cannot do it for this one. We straightforward do for the weight at the earth. So there is 400 newton. So we take 400 newton equal to the mass we do know. But I know the g. That's a 10. So we find it the mass is a 40 kg. So you find out the mass, then the mass we can apply here. The mass is no changes. So WP equal 80. So we take 80 equal 40. Then we find what is the G at the planet X. So we find it the G is how many? At the planet X, there's a 2 Newton kilogram per kilogram. So this one is a, the planet X. What is a gravitational field strength? Then just 2 Newton. Okay, 2 Newton per kilogram, not just 2 Newton. 2 Newton is a force. So you must mention 2 Newton per kilogram. Okay, so this one is a 2.8. So we just finished the 2.8. Then we need to go, it's a tutorial. Lah. Let's go and see the tutorial first. Tutorial also last question only. They just got three, uh, four of the objective. And the structure question got two only, two or three. So we go to tutorial question. Okay, welcome back. We go to the tutorial answer. Okay, tutorial answer for the objective. I just show you what's the answer. If you do know, you can PM me how to do the calculation. Okay, let's see the number one. Number one, the answer is B. Okay, now I want to explain the number one. Okay, why the location at the sphere is should be the heaviest. Okay, have yes. Okay, just now we're talking about the earth is 9.81, is it? Okay, now I want you to see this part. Suppose our earth not the circle, not a sphere. That's just ellipse. Ellipse means the radius should be different. Okay, let's see an example here. This one we call equator. Okay, the first one, equator. Okay, the equator is a horizontal. Okay, the vertical one we call north pole. Okay, we find it the radius is a different. The radius for the equator should be longer than the north pole shorter. Okay, so because of the radius is a different, so we find it the gravity with differences. Okay, you see the equator. Equator, the gravity 9.73 only. Then north pole is 9.89 because the gravity because. Why finally we take 9.81? Because we do the calculation by mean value. Mean value means I take this one plus this one, then I divide by 2. So overall, the earth we take 9.81. So this one is the reason. Chapter 3, we will learn about this one more detail. Okay, so from this one question, they ask you which one gravity. Okay, which one of the location, the sphere will heaviest. So heaviest, it depends on the gravity. The answer should be the North Pole. Why? Because 9.89, the gravity. So when you put here, the object, they will more heaviest. Okay, then the following just calculation. So if we do know, uh, we just discuss in the diagram. Lah. So we continue with number five. Number five is a structure question. Okay, what means by gravitational field strength? I think this one you can find inside the notes. What means of gravitational field strength? So I just read. Okay, gravitational field strength means there's a force. Force acting per unit mass caused by what caused by the gravitational pull okay where you can get the answer the answer is the first page okay the first page okay gravitational field strength okay what's the meaning there's a force acting per unit mass caused by gravitational pull so this one is the definition for the gravitational field strength Okay, then we go to the six. State the differences between the mass and weight. 
So this one I also do want to mention because in your notes also got. So the question never mention how many marks. So you just write all. You draw the table, then you write the differences between the mass and also the weight. Okay. Then the five and six refer your notes up. Then we need to go is a seven. Okay, question seven. A 10 kg of the object has weight 150 newton on the planet. Planet again, huh? So what is a gravitational field strength on the planet? Now the question they want to find is a G. Okay, what is the G at the planet? So we're just using the same formula, W equal mg. Okay, from the planet, we know there's a 150. Question 7. Eh? Okay, then the mass. 10 kg. Okay, G. So we need to find gravitational field strength at the planet is how many? So we get it. The G is a 15. Remember the unit. Unit is a newton per kilograms. So this was the answer for 7. Okay, then we continue for B. Is the planet bigger than the Earth? 15. Our is 9.81. Bigger or smaller? The answer is bigger. So that means the conclusion is, if you find the gravity of the planet is big, means the size of the uh, the size of the planet must be bigger than the Earth. We compare, we take the Earth is a standard 9.81. So if you get, lah, if you find the answer is 1.6, 1.6 means you're smaller so many from the Earth. That means you are a small planet. If you find the, Earth, the planet like this, 15, 15 means you are more than the Earth, 9.81. So that means you are more than, means your planet size must be very big. That's why you can produce a bigger gravity. So your answer for B, the answer should be yes, bigger. Then you need to give the reason why you say there's a bigger. So when you give the reason, we must relate it with the gravitational field strength. Okay. Okay, let's see the answer for question B. Okay, first one we answer mass is yes. Okay, the size for the planet is bigger than the earth. We answer yes, then we give the reason. The strength of the gravity the strength of the gravity actually is G. Okay, G. Remember the formula, W over mass. Okay. So the gravity depends on the amount of the mass. Okay, the gravity and the mass is depends. So you from here, as the strength of the gravity increase, when you find the strength become more, pulling so the size of the planet should be increases okay when the size increases then we know lah, the size for the planet is a bigger man the mass should be the highest okay so that one is a strength and also the size related okay then we go to the question eight an astronaut the mass is a 60 kilogram is assigned to explode at the moon Okay, what is the astronaut weight on the moon's surface? Okay, so from here we assume our Earth is 9.81. Ah. The gravitational field strength is 9.81. The question never mentioned means we take 9.81. Okay, first we're still using the same formula. Okay, we just know the mass. Mass is a 60 kilogram. Okay, now the question what they want. What is the astronaut weight at the moon? They want to know W at the moon. Okay, now we do know what is the gravity at the moon. So we need to do calculation. Okay, gravity at the moon is 1 over 6. Multiply 9.81. 6 times smaller than the Earth. When we do the calculation, we get it. There's a 1.6. 3, 5, Newton, kilogram, one. So we find the G first. After find the G, then we can apply. So 
So the final answer. Okay, they just 98.1 Newton. Uh, the astronaut mass at the uh, at the moon. They want to measure the weight of the astronaut when go to the moon. They just 98.1 Newton. Okay, if at the Earth, at the Earth, that means you need to take the 60 multiply 9.81. That one is at the Earth. Okay, so we finish number 8. Then we go to the number 9. Number 9, a little bit longer. Okay, so for this one, so I want to show you uh, the first one they say what's mean of the free fall. Okay, B. B is a table, just now I draw the circle the equator and also the north pole this one you will learn for the uh, coming lesson how to do the calculation you also can refer your textbook your textbook is a page 49 you can see the page 49 they draw you one of the circle that's the earth after that they show you how to do how do how to show the they don't show calculation they just show you the reading they show the reading only. So that one is, they give you the reason why become like this. Okay, I show you what is the diagram first. Okay, from the diagram, you can see about the equator and also the North Pole. You also can read what's the reason why the reading for the G is a different. And they got explained. Okay, after you read that part, that means you can do this question. Okay, now we go to answer the question 9. Okay, what means by free fall? The object fall because of pull by what? Gravitational force, is it? So that one is a definition. Okay, they fall what? They fall in the, uh, they're under influence by the gravity only. Or you can say they're under by the uh, gravitational field strength. That one we call free fall. Okay, B, you read already, is it? So we can, we can write the answer. So for the distant pole from the center to the earth, center to the earth, go to the north pole, there's a 6350 kilometer. So you find the radius. So what is the radius? So the G is how many? 9.83. Okay, 9.83. So the unit is a Newton kg negative 1. Okay, when they go to equator, you can see the equator radius is a 6,372. Bigger a little bit than the North Pole. So, bigger a little bit from the North Pole. Now, you go and see the gravity. Okay, there's a different. Okay, there's a different. Okay, so from here, you find the radius become longer. Radius longer, gravity becomes smaller. So, these two, we need to combine, divide by 2, then you get the answer for the 9.81. That one is we take the overall, we take the mean value to calculate our Earth is how many gravitational field strength. Okay, then we continue for the next one. Why there's a difference? Uh, they ask again, uh, why there's a difference in the value of the G at the North Pole and Equator? Why different? So, we answer what? Because our Earth, not the perfect sphere that's an ellipse so the radius is a different so that's why they produce a gravity is a different okay so we need to do the we write the information from your text so also can find the answer so this one should be the answer because the earth is not totally in a sphere shape so that's why we cannot get the same radius okay now we go to the c c is a calculation Okay, so from here, Amira, they threw the ball vertically upwards, go up. Okay, with the initial velocity is a 15. Calculate the time for the ball achieved to the maximum height. Okay, the ball you threw upwards. So you threw using how many? Initial is a 15. Okay, for this one question, we learned about weight already. So we take the gravity is exactly 9.81. We don't take as a 10 already. Okay, 9.81. Eh? So now you up. Up means your gravity is opposite direction. So we take A, we become negative 9.81. Negative, remember you take negative because you up. 
Okay, now the object will move until maximum height. Okay, maximum height means the object cannot up already, maximum already. So we understood V is how many? V equals zero. Because you know more velocity already. You just until maximum. So now the question is asked, time taken until you go maximum height. So from here, they ask about T. So from this one situation, the question never mentioned about the height. They never mentioned about the displacement. So no S. No S using which one formula? Remember? 1, 2, 3, 4. No S. No S is the first formula. V equal U plus AT. Okay, now the question they want to find T. So we just apply V is a 0. U15. Okay, your A go negative. T. So, final answer actually no negative because this one you move here. Okay, so the final answer T is Okay, the time taken for the object to go up until maximum the time taken is 1.529 second. Okay, so this one is the time taken. Okay, let's see number 2. Number 2, they want to find maximum height. Just now they find the time, now they find the height. So when they want to find the height, we use another formula to find it. Lah, because this one don't have any S. We apply the others. Okay, now we assume we don't know the time. Okay, we don't know the time taken. Okay, now we know the initial velocity is a 15. Final is a 0. Then A is a negative 9.81. So we need to find it's a S. Okay, no time. No time means there's a last equation. Okay, last equation is a V square. U square plus 2 AS. So V is a 0. Then 15 we need to square. Plus 2, negative 9.81. Then S. Okay, so the final answer also no negative because this one you want to move here. Negative, then you divide by negative. Final answer positive. So we got it. The displacement is. Okay, this one is a height. You throw the ball up until what is the maximum height. So we get it 11.47 meter. Okay, then we go D. A light hollow plastic ball. And also the solid steel ball of the same size. Two of the size will be the same. Release from the cliff of the hill. Okay. That means first one we know the info. Both sides is the same size. Number two, both also release from the same height. Okay. View the both ball reach at the foot hill at the same time. Then after that, explain your answer. So your answer is yes or no. Okay, the answer should be yes. Because 2 also fall on the earth. Fall on the earth means your gravity should be the same. How many? Remember the free fall we're using what? Gravitational acceleration. That's a 9.81. 2 also pull by the same 9.81. So that's why 2 also follow, follow, the, follow the airy position. The come down should be the follow. Okay, then another one that day we in the class we test. We using the paper and also the ball. Sure different. Why? Because the paper surface area is a bit. They will disturb by the air resistance. Now the question already mentioned same size. If the same size means the percentage they want to overcome the air resistance should be the same. Okay, same effective. Then after that, the material, that's not related. Okay, example, you can try in your class. Okay, your handphone, the shape like this. Your calculator also almost like this. You go to drop. Okay, the mesh is a different one. You go to drop at the same height. Is it? You go and check. Is it the time taken to reach the graph should be the same or not? So this one is one as example. You want to try, it's up to you. Okay, you buy the new phone. Ah. Okay, now we're going to see the answer. This should be yes. Then we give the reason. Why become yes? You see the answer, they need three marks. You answer yes means one mark only. 
the two marks you need to explain related with the uh, gravity. Okay, then you need to relate it with the height, the same height. Another one related with the same size. Okay, so we write the answer. So we go to answer. First one, they say yes. Okay, the time should be the same. Okay, now we give the reason. The free fall does not depend on the mass of the ball. Okay, the mass of the ball is not related. Both able to overcome the A resistance and also fall by the acceleration due to gravity 9.81. Why both also can be overcome? Because of the same size. Okay, same size they will overcome the A resistance. The next one, acceleration due to gravity. Yeah, should be the same. There's a 9.81. Then now last one is a they also release at the same height. So these three things we will say about the ball two different material then they come down the time should be the same so we I can achieve the three marks ah. then we go to the e an object true vertically upwards another thing ah, the true vertical upwards after that maximum height is a five calculate then we need to ignore okay ignore the resistance we still take the g is a 9.81 the ve velocity of the object when they're true okay when they're true so we need to find it's the initial velocity Okay, right. We go and write out all the info first. Again, the ball up. U we do know. V equal to zero. Then A equal to the negative nine point eight. Okay, what they need? They need the U. Then any information if not okay, we know the height. S equal to the five. So now we can using the formula here is a no time. No time they may be using the last one. Ah. No time. So v square u square plus 2 as 0. Okay. So we find the answer for the u 9.9 ms negative 1. So this one is the initial velocity you can throw the ball up. Okay, then we continue for the question. Okay, now the time taken for the object to reach to the maximum height. Now they want to find the T. So when they want to find the T, so we need to use in the U. Because we don't have any formula, is no U. We must apply the U. Okay, so we still want you using the 9.9. .9. So any formula you also can be applied to solve this one problem so if you want to using the first one then using the first one because you want to find it's a time taken the last one cannot use lah because last one don't have the time so we try to apply okay let me go and see the first equation okay v we, we know they go to maximum and just zero is it okay you just now we find it 9.9 .9, so we just apply 9.9 .9 plus okay negative 9.81 then we need to find is a time okay the time taken we get it one second okay there's a one second okay now see the time required for the object to return to the original so that means the object they go up okay now they come down come back so you go up should be one second you come down how many the time taken should be the same. Also, one second. So, your final answer, two seconds. Time taken for the object to be up and also come down. So, the answer C is two seconds. Okay? So, we complete the question. So, this one is a 2.8. So, the whole chapter 2 should be finished. So, make sure you go to study your chapter 2. If your school just reopened, confirm the chapter 2 including okay then the coming soon i will teach about chapter 3 the gravitational the one is more harder than this topic that one is a more formula you need to calculation okay more formula you need to apply okay please do the revision for chapter 1 and chapter 2 okay all the notes make sure you print out and read and do all the tutorial okay Thank you everyone for the 4 Science 2 students. Okay, okay, good luck for you all uh, for the coming exam. 
do know the school how to reopen when to reopen so hopefully you can do the revision okay thank you for your watching